Today we're unboxing the 118 scale high boxing 18859 and doing the first run of it and that's coming up next here on Jesse B Motors. Don't forget if you like videos like this to hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell. Welcome back everybody and we're back with one of my favorite budget companies for RC's high boxing. So far every high boxing I've had, I've had like five or six of them now. They've all been fun, they've all been durable. They are a great beginner RC. So let's go ahead and get this unboxed and see what comes with it and then we're going to take it outside and run it. Now there's a couple things I want to go over before we do open this up. We're going to flip it through the side here and look at some of the highlights. This is a four wheel center drive shaft, gear disc front and rear. 2 GHz for the radio, splash proof electronics, which in this version, they're new updated electronics. Independent uh, suspension all the way around. The shocks do have a threaded ring, but they're still friction shocks, they're not oil filled. And then it has the anti skid high grip tires, metal drive shafts, and then it has ball bearings throughout, which I've always liked about it. Soft pack lipo battery, that's one thing I like about the high boxings, they come with a lipo. And then it's going to have the uh, headlights that are LED as a free present for you. And then these things, if you want to know the colors, they come in the green, orange, blue, and red. And that's all going to be with the black. I got the orange one. Let's go ahead and open this up and get it out. Okay, now we're going to open this up real quick. And this one looks like it's packaged a little bit different than other high boxings I've had. I kind of like this packaging. This is kind of cool. We've got the back of the truck there. We've got our sticker sheet right here. What else do we got in here? Here's something I've never seen in them before. Got a different service card in there. That's a little bit different than what I've seen before. And then the one thing I've always liked about the high boxing is their instruction manuals. They're pretty good with pictures. Give you all you need to know. And then if you go to the back, usually they got the exploded diagrams right there that you can see. That's a real nice touch. And then they always give you the part numbers too. So you can order the parts you need. That's always a great thing about high boxing with their things. We'll go ahead and open this up here. We've got our truck right on top. And then we'll open this up. And it looks like our remote's on the bottom. Get this all opened up here. And we're going to go ahead. Since I got a controller first here. This controller, I really like it. It's small and compact. And a lot of people don't like that. But what I like about it is if you go out traveling, this thing is easy to throw in a bag. You got your on off switch right here and then you got your steering trim right here it just has a plastic steering wheel trigger and then on the top here you got your slow or normal mode which is nice for if you got a beginner or a young kid that you're trying to teach and then you got your steering reverse right there and then if you open up the bottom here if i can remember how to do it it just pops out right there and it takes two AA batteries that is all on the remote pretty basic and it's good so now let's go ahead i'm going to rip open this bag here real quick and one thing we got here is extra clips and i like that they went to the little pull tabs on them that's a nice touch a lot of new high boxings come with that and then you got your lipo battery here looks like it's a 850 milliamp hour 7.4 volt that's a real nice touch that they're all coming with that now and then you got the charger for it. I'll be using a hobby grade charger like I always do. So next, let's check the truck out. Now we got the truck out. The first thing I want to look at is the body. And I'm going to pop this body off here. And I can tell you right now, another thing with high boxing is they knock it out of the ballpark with the paint jobs on these. And then also, what you want to do, you can see right there, this has got the film on it. So make sure you take that film off. I'll just peel it up a little bit more so you can see it. You want to peel this off before you put your stickers on because if you put your stickers on and, and go to rip that off, you're going to rip your stickers right off. But man, this thing is a great looking body. Really like that. So now we're going to go ahead. And one thing I can see that I like already over the last versions of this. Now I had the original Hailstorm and the LED lights I had to put in myself and I had a little issue with them. They already come pre-installed already on this version. Really like that. Here you can see this is the threaded part for the new shocks. And they are just a friction shock. They're not oil filled at all. 
you can see right there we got the metal drive shafts looks like we still got plastic drive cups in there but we do got the metal drive shafts on it now and then we come to the new ESC receiver here and this is a new version of it the bad thing about it is it's still a five wire servo so if you wanted to upgrade this at all you would have to get a different ESC and radio on it and then another thing I've always liked about the high box scenes here is they got the little motor here and they put a heat sink on it that's a really nice touch that they put the heat sink on these to try to keep the motor cool for you they got the nice cross brace on here that's a nice touch we'll move to the rear see we still got the metal shocks in the rear here plastic drive cup still same style shocks and then we got our second battery already installed in here and like I said this is a real nice touch that high boxing started doing they went to light poles and they give you two of them I really like that about it and then if we look at the bottom here you do see it's just a nice smooth pan you got the skid plates and the bumpers here they look like everything front and back bolts up about the same the one thing I really like about high boxing is is if you do need to fix something you can usually get parts um, I found them on eBay Amazon and I think also Banga carries parts for these so if you ever need parts for them that's where you get them from I've done videos on these where I beat the snot out of them. I'll leave a link up above here for you guys to check out one of the videos where I'm beating the snot out of one of these and I could not break one. These things are a blast. So let's go ahead. Let's get these batteries charged up and let's take it outside and do a rip with it. All right, we got this little thing out here in the dirt out on the track here. What we're going to do is we're just going to run it out here for a little bit. This is the first run of it. We can see out in the loose dirt has enough power right here to do some uh, real good donuts. So let's go ahead, see how we can jump this. Oop. Go ahead, try jumping it again. Get it lined up here on the ramp. Get some nice little jumps out of this. This thing is great for beginners. Nice little truck. This is on full speed. Got a little tumble right there. But it is on full speed. We'll flip it on over here. See how fast it is. We'll run it up and down here. just so you can get an idea of top speed that is all out right there we'll bring it on back here and to me this is going to be what people are going to run it on it's going to be gravel like this or dirt like this some uh, gravel on the cement the cement nice little jump there I don't recommend driving it through the grass if you drive it through the grass Whoop, there we go and hitting the ramp if you drive it through the grass the what's going to happen is you're going to heat the motor up and you're just going to kill the battery so it's really not worth it but if you got some little ramps like this to set up once you get used to it do some little jumps over these ramps this is a fun little thing now where i really like this is i already see this size is really in the winter time or rainy days you can run them in the house and have a blast with them in the house or say if you're going on a trip because this controller right here is nice and small the truck is nice and small easy to tuck away into a bag and that makes it real nice for travel so if you get bored on your travels you can go ahead throw this in your bag and have some fun with RCs while you're out doing your travels Now, like I said before, I had the original high boxing hailstorm, and I do like some of the updates that they've done to this over the uh, old style hailstorm. This and the rampage are basically the same thing. And uh, hailstorm was a great vehicle. I really liked it. I did a bunch of videos on it. I'll leave a card up above to one of the videos for you guys to check out of the hailstorm. But I do like the new updates they've done to this. I like that uh, even though the shocks aren't oil filled, 
you can at least adjust them now. They got the collar to adjust them. And that makes for a lot of fun with it. Put the ramps together to make it jump a little bit better so I wasn't trying to just hit one small little ramp. Things with this small of a wheelbase sometimes can be harder to control. So I just did that to the ramps. Made it a little bit easier to hit them. Go for another full speed run here. Now I'll bring it back and we'll go ahead and we'll switch it to slow real quick just so you guys can see. This is slow speed. Then I'll go ahead and switch it back to fast just so you guys can see that. That's one reason why I like this thing. Get it to go straight here. That way you can see the two different speeds of this. You can see the LED lights lit up in the front. Maybe we'll do a little night run with this. So we can see how the LED lights look. I always think that's a lot of fun to do stuff like that. Nice little jump there. There we go. That was a good full out jump right there. I have a blast with these little trucks. They're a lot of fun. Plenty durable. I don't think I have broke anything on any of my high boxings yet. Except for um, my 112 scale protector. And that was my own fault. Somebody distracted me and I hit a uh, brick uh, pylon with it at full speed. But the parts that I needed to fix it, it was a real simple fix and they were cheap. And I got the parts on Amazon. Came in two days and I had it up and running again. That's another thing I like about these high boxings. Now that we're back inside, I can say this truck is fun and durable. I did some tumbles and some end over ends with it. It handled all those just fine when I was taking it off the jumps. It was fun taking it off the jumps. Now outside in wide open area being a truck this small is not going to be really wowing. Where this thing is fun is indoors. Like on a rainy day or in your garage this thing is a lot of fun. Or if you're traveling you could probably run this in your hotel room. Or out in the parking lot and have a blast with it. That's where this thing is fun. The small controller and the small size of this fits easy into a bag. That's what I really like about it. Now the only thing I would recommend about this is I would pick this up when they got it on sale. That's about the only thing I would say about it is when it's on sale that's when you want to snag it. But besides that it has bearings throughout. The metal axles held up fine. The new shocks that you can adjust that's kind of cool. I liked already how they had the uh, LEDs installed so I didn't have to do it. That's a nice touch. As always the bodies look good. I like how these pins are with the tabs on them. I like that. So this is a fun truck. So as always, I'll leave links down below to everything I used in the video in the truck. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. On Facebook, I got a group, RC Car Life. Come in and join in on the fun. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all on the next one.